This video talks through using the sign rule and shows two basic examples. Now the sign rule is used where we have angles and sides which are opposite each other. And in the first triangle, these here pair off. The X and the 37 degrees, the 5 and the 42 degrees. Right, so to find x, we write down x and we write it over sine of the opposite angle. And what the sine rule tells us is that x over sine 37 will equal the other side over sine of its opposite angle. So this gives us an equation to use to find x. So if we now multiply through by sine 37, then x will equal 5 over sine 42 times by sine of 37. And if you enter this into your calculator, you get x is 4.50 to 3 significant figures. So the sign rule can be used to find out a missing side, as long as we have pairs of sides and angles that are opposite. We can also find missing angles. So in the second example, we still have the angles and sides pairing off. But we want to find an angle. Now we can actually spin the ratio over. So if I begin with x, then with the sine rule, it says that sine of x over its opposite side, i.e. 7, must equal sine of the other angle over its opposite side, i.e. x. Now, to solve this equation requires two steps. We first of all must times up by the 7. So this tells us that sine of x is sine 42 over 8 times by 7, which works out at 0.585 to 3 decimal places. Then, to find x, we then must do the inverse sine. This is the second f or shift sine button on the calculator, but inverse sine of this decimal. And if you press enter, you get 35.8 degrees. We're told x is an acute angle, so therefore that is the solution. In the second video, we look at other cases, including finding obtuse angles. But there we go. The two examples, finding a missing side or finding a missing angle.